Hi Foldscope community! My name is Holly Stewart and I'm the Education Specialist for Foldscope Instruments. This video is part of a series of videos to provide you with some tips, tricks, and strategies for using the Foldscope 2.0. There are so many different ways to explore the microcosmos with the new Foldscope 2.0. One way doesn't even involve preparing slides. You can put samples directly into the slide pocket. Things like leaves, flower petals, paper, fabric, all of those can be placed directly in your Foldscope 2.0 and viewed without preparing a slide. There's also our new trading cards. You can put your dry sample here in the center of your trading card by placing a clear sticker on the back, placing your sample on the front, and then sealing it to the trading card with another clear sticker. And of course, you can use trading cards for water samples as well. Put a clear sticker on the back and use one of our ring stickers, peel off the plastic cover, place your drop of liquid on there, and then seal it back up. And of course, the Foldscope 2.0 is still compatible with glass slides. Now, remember though, that the Foldscope 2.0 slide pocket is a lot bigger than that of the original, and this is to accommodate our new trading cards. So here are a couple of things that you can do to prevent the glass slides from moving around with all of that extra space. One of the things that you can do is you can take your glass slide and just tape it to a trading card. Then you can take the trading card with the glass slide on it, put it into your Foldscope 2.0, and view it as usual. Or, you can put your slide into your Foldscope 2.0 and tape it directly to the Foldscope. That way, as you pan, your slide should go exactly where you want it to. 